Welcome to the training program Manager Waste Management. It's time to begin the module Employability and Entrepreneurship Skills and the unit preparing to be an entrepreneur. Please click Start to begin. In this unit, you will learn about the process of market research and the types of data involved in market research, the four P's of marketing, the need of customer relationship management and networking, business planning, formalities and procedure of bank financing and much more. Before going into details, let's have a look at the learning objectives of this unit. After completion of this unit, you will be able to Describe how market research method is carried out and the four P's of marketing. Discuss the importance of an idea. Describe different business terminology. Describe the need and benefits of CRM and networking. Discuss the importance of setting goals. Describe how to write a business plan. Explain the financial planning process and ways to manage risk. Describe the procedure and formalities for applying for bank finance. Explain how to manage your own enterprise. Let's begin the unit by discussing about market study, the four P's of marketing and importance of an idea. In this unit, you will cover market research, four P's of marketing, importance of an idea. Market research is the process of gathering, analyzing and interpreting market information on a product or service that is being sold in that market. It includes information on past, present and prospective customers customer characteristics and spending habits, the location and needs of the target market, the overall industry for which the research is done, relevant competitors. Market research involves two types of data, one, primary information, two, secondary information. Click each type to know more. The four P's of marketing are product, price, promotion and place. Let's look at each of these four P's in detail. Click each type to know more. Ideas are the foundation of progress. An idea can be small or groundbreaking, easy to accomplish or extremely complicated to implement. Whatever the case, the fact that it is an idea gives its merit. If an entrepreneur wants to remain competitive and innovative, one needs to bring their ideas out into the light. Some ways to do this are by Establishing a culture of brainstorming where all interested parties are invited to contribute. Discussing ideas out loud so that people can add their ideas, views, opinions to them. Being open-minded and not limiting ideas, even if the idea who have seems ridiculous. Not discarding ideas that don't work on immediately, instead making a note of them and shelving them, so they can be revisited at a later date. Click on the letters below to view terms and its definition. Which of the four P's of marketing comprises of advertising of product? Select the correct option and click Submit button. Identify and drag the traits of different types of market research data in the appropriate column and click the Submit button. In this unit, you have learned about Market Research and Types of Market Research Data, 4 P's of Marketing, Importance of an Idea, Basic Business Terminology. 
Thank you, Shirin, for sharing information on market research and basic business terminology. You are welcome. Let us now take a look into the need and benefits of CRM and networking. Let us now discuss the need and benefits of CRM and networking. In this unit, you will cover need and benefits of customer relationship management that is CRM, need and benefits of networking. What? Customer Relationship Management or CRM refers to IT systems and software designed to help companies manage their relationships. The better a company can manage its relationships with its customers, the higher the chances of the company's success, need. Focus on addressing the problems of dealing with customers on a daily basis. Helps companies to be more responsive to the needs of their customers. Enables them to modify their business operations when required. Benefit. Helps improve relations with existing customers. Results in better marketing of one's products or service. Enhances customer satisfaction and retention. Improves profitability by identifying and focusing on the most profitable customers. What? Leveraging your business and personal connections to bring in a regular supply of new business. Great way to develop sales opportunities and contacts. Based on referrals and introductions or can take place via phone, email, and social and business networking websites. Effective and low-cost. Need. Helps in relationship building, greater communication, and a stronger presence in the entrepreneurial ecosystem. Business networking and events held across the globe play a huge role in connecting like-minded entrepreneurs who share the same fundamental beliefs in Communication, exchanging ideas, and converting ideas into realities. Networking events help connect entrepreneurs with potential investors, benefit, getting high quality leads, increased business opportunities, good source of relevant connections, advice from like minded entrepreneurs, gaining visibility, and raising your profile. Meeting positive and enthusiastic people. Which of the following is a benefit of CRM? Select the correct option and click Submit button. Which of the following is a need for networking? Select the correct option and click Submit button. In this unit, you have learned about Need and Benefits of Customer Relationship Management or CRM Need and Benefits of Networking Thank you, Shirin, for sharing information on the needs and benefits of CRM and networking. You are welcome. Let us now take a look into business planning and risk management. Let us now discuss about business planning and risk management. In this unit, you will cover Importance of setting goals and differentiate among short-term, medium-term and long-term goals. Importance of creating a business plan. Different elements of a business plan. Setting goals is important because it gives you long-term vision and short-term motivation. Goals can be short-term, medium-term and long-term. Short-term goals. These are specific goals for the immediate future. Example, repairing a machine that has failed. Medium-term goals. These goals are built on your short-term goals. They do not need to be as specific as your short-term goals. Example, arranging for a service contract 
to ensure that your machines don't fail again. Long term goals. These goals require time and planning. They usually take a year or more to achieve. Example Planning your expenses so you can buy new machinery. A business plan is a tool for understanding how your business is put together and can be used to monitor progress, foster accountable, and control the fate of the business. It usually offers a three to five year projection and outlines the plan that the company intends to follow to grow its revenues. A business plan is also a very important tool for getting the interest of key employees or future investors. A business plan typically comprises of eight elements, which are executive summary, business description, market analysis, organization and management, service or product line, marketing and sales, funding request, and financial planning. As an entrepreneur, it is critical that you evaluate the risks involved with the type of enterprise that you want to start before you begin setting up your company. Once you have identified potential risks, you can take steps to reduce them. Some ways to manage risks are research similar business and find out about their risks and how they were minimized. Evaluate current market trends and find out if similar products or services that launched a while ago are still being well received by the public. Think about whether you really have the required expertise to launch your product or service. Examine your finances and see if you have enough income to start your enterprise. Be aware of the current state of the economy. Consider how the economy may change over time and think about how your enterprise will be affected by any of those changes. Create a detailed business plan. Which of the following is an example of medium term goal? Select the correct option and click submit button. Match the description in column A with the correct elements of business planning and click submit button. Arrange the steps to risk management and click submit button. In this unit, you have learned about importance of setting goals, business planning and different elements of business planning, ways to manage risk. Thank you, Sharon, for sharing such valuable information on business planning and risk management. You are welcome. Let us now take a look into procedure and formalities for bank finance. Let us now discuss about procedure and formalities for bank finance. In this unit, you will cover need for bank finance, information that entrepreneurs should offer banks for funding, lending criteria of banks. For entrepreneurs, Securing funds for startups is a challenge. From the options available, entrepreneurs should check which funding methodology works best for them. India, banks are one of the largest funders of startups, offering funding to thousands of startups every year. When approaching a bank, entrepreneurs must be aware of the criteria that bank use to screen, rate, and process loan applications. Also providing banks with accurate and correct information is very important. Financial institutions can easily track loan applicants or defaulters. Entrepreneurs looking for funding from banks must provide information relating to their general credentials, financial situation and guarantees or collaterals that can be offered. Click each tab to know more. Your request for funding will have a higher chance of success if you can satisfy the following lending criteria. Good cash flow, adequate shareholders funds, adequate security, experience in business, good reputation. Procedure. 
You submit application form along with documents. Bank assesses your profile and credit worthiness. Bank decides whether to approve your funding request. Which of the following are lending criteria for banks? Select the correct option and click Submit button. Which of the following information an entrepreneur shall provide to bank for funding? Select the correct option and click Submit button. In this unit, you have learned about need for bank finance, information offered to banks for funding, lending criteria of banks. Thank you, Shirin, for sharing such valuable information on procedure and formalities for bank finance. You are welcome. Let us now take a look into enterprise management and questions to ask before consider entrepreneurship. Let us now have an overview of enterprise management and go through the questions that one must ask himself or herself before considering entrepreneurship. In this unit, you will cover steps to effectively manage an enterprise, questions to be asked before considering entrepreneurship. To manage your enterprise effectively, you need to consider different aspects, starting from managing the day-to-day -day activities to handling large-scale events. Let's look at some simple steps to manage your company effectively. 1. Use your leadership skills and ask for advice when required. 2. Divide your work amongst others. Realize that you cannot handle everything yourself. 3. Hire the right people for the job. Ask potential candidates the right questions and evaluate their answers carefully. 4. Motivate your employees and train them well. Use techniques such as recognition, bonuses and rewards for achievements. 5. Train your people to handle your customers well. Show them how you sincerely listen to your clients and your efforts to understand their requirements. 6. Market your enterprise effectively. Using your skills and the skills of your employees. Implement these steps and realize how much easier managing your enterprise becomes. Given here are the questions you should ask yourself to assess the highs and lows of starting an enterprise. Click on the tab below to view terms and its definition. Which of the following steps can be used to effectively manage a company? Select the correct option and click Submit button. Thank you, Sharon, for sharing such valuable information on enterprise management. It's my pleasure. In this unit, you have learnt about steps to manage company effectively, questions to ask yourself before considering entrepreneurship.